Finch residents are concerned that their hydro bills are going through the roof because an unregulated third party submeter company is overcharging them for simply delivering that hydro. In some cases, that charge exceeds the energy charge itself. And on top of the already high rents, paying more for hydro is something they say they can't afford. Tenants of a Jane Finch apartment building and their supporters. Voicing their opinions, they're voicing their concerns, and they're voicing their disgust with this hydro rates that they're facing. It used to be that hydro costs formed part of their monthly rent. It still does for some residents, but not for those who've moved in or moved within buildings like these after the provincial government changed the rules. There's anger with Premier Kathleen Wynne all around. Wayne, what would you say to her? Absolutely. Her irresponsibility of selling off Hydro One is causing all this mess. This building now uses what's called a sub-metering company to meter and collect hydro payments. Do you think you're paying appropriately for what you're using? No. I think I pay maybe for the hallway in the building. Some people are not paying hydro in here. Tenants say they can't predict the next bill because they say they can't see any metering and don't believe the company behind those bills. When it, when it shows up, then I know. It's a surprise. It's a mystery. Every time. It's always a mystery. Always a surprise for us. Every month, they say, it's a wild, unpredictable fluctuation in the bill amount. My first bill was 170 and the next one goes up to 150. The third party company contracted to collect the bill is called Wise Meter Solutions. It declined an on-camera interview, sending us a statement saying, Wise uses Measurement Canada certified meters to measure and record the utility consumption of individual apartment units in a building. But unlike being billed directly by a utility like Toronto Hydro, Wise can order disconnections for non-payment in as little as 15 days, and it does. Three times. For low-income tenants facing steep and unpredictable hydro charges, the penalty can be severe. And outside companies don't face the same scrutiny as a public utility does. They need the third-party companies to go. And if they're not allowed to go, if they must be in the city, they should be regulated. An abundance of anger, a sense of unfairness, a feeling of a lack of transparency. And then there are those bills, which many residents don't believe and worse say they can't afford. And there's no relief for low-income tenants anywhere in sight. Alan. Thank you, Sean.